This week is going to be a big week for Halo Infinite. New ranked modes, ranks being reset as well, the end of a fracture event, and possibly some co-op news coming in later on. And 343 provides some context of why they were moving last Spartan Standing. And a whole lot more, so stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So I'm sure many of you already know that we have ranked doubles and team doubles as well coming into Halo Infinite on Tuesday, but they said here in the previous blog that in order to make room for these playlists, they need to remove Last Spartan Standing. And so the last time you get a chance to play Last Spartan Standing, it's going to be at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Now, when I first heard this news, I was kind of upset. Like, I actually like Last Spartan Standing. It's one of my more favorite modes to play in the game. But recently, 343 provided some context of why they're actually removing it. In a reply to Accelerate, who's a Twitch streamer, and was kind of ex expressing his dislike about removing Last Spartan Standing, like myself, Sketch Coast Twitter says, I agree, it sucks to lose things, but adjusting and rotating playlists is a long common th term, common thing in Halo, which is kind of true. Uh, I think 3 for 3 is kind of made up more common, you know what I mean? Uh, it's also often necessary to maintain overall online experience and matchmaking health. Last Spartan Standing was by far the least played playlist by a huge margin. But he does say that he'd love to see the game mode come back and keep evolving. That's a key bit of information they just didn't talk about within the blog update announcing the removal of it. From our point of view, all we're seeing is we're losing Last Spartan Standing for whatever reason, we don't know why. This actually provides some context for us to understand why 343 does the things that they do. Because I was genuinely shocked to hear that Last Spartan Standing is by far the least played mode in Halo Infinite. I'm sure it could be due to a bit of a burnout because of having to play just that mode for the event pass and it only being a single player free for all experience. You can't, there's no duos or anything like that. It got a little stale a little quick, even though the update that it had the second time around was really great. I think it would be awesome that if we had like a duos version of Last Spartan Standing coming in next time, eventually down the line. I think that would be just really fun and also bring people together to play the game. But would you like to see Last Spartan Standing return to Halo Infinite? Let me know in the comments. Also, keep in mind on this Tuesday, CSR is being reset. So you have to redo your 10 match made games to get your rank and then grind it all over again. This actually played out really well for Halo Infinite's population when they did that during the February mid-season update. So we should see maybe a little bit of a population boost once that comes around. Give people another reason to jump in and grind out the game a bit more. Also, leaving on Tuesday, guys, will be the Fracture event. So you can grind out your Battle Pass items a bit more. Myself, I have actually gone through everything, so I'm not too crazy about you know going through the battle pass of these of this event but just want you guys know that the reminder that the current fracture event is live right now but will be going away tuesday to make room for team doubles rank doubles as well as the removal of last spartan standing this week could also be really interesting because we get some information about co-op on the roadmap here it says late august is when networking co-op is supposed to go live obviously that's a target time frame but i think things went rather well with the co-op flighting from my experience that i would expect it to still be on track for a late august release and well this is the last full week of august so we definitely should get some information but when we could expect a release date for networking co-op. So when could we expect the release date? I think it could come around August 30th at the earliest. But of course, once we actually get those concrete dates set by 343, I'll let you guys know here on the channel. And I'm sure when it comes to talking about flighting and co-op, the other thing that we're talking about guys is Forge. The leaks are still coming out. A lot of great content still being developed by the community here. Looks fantastic. We should be getting some information soon about Forge, but I don't expect to have anything about like concrete dates and when it comes to the flighting process or the open beta as they're really trying to call it right here uh probably not until we actually get the release of campaign co-op then 343 will start moving forward when it comes to doing the open beta play testing for forge of course once we get that information guys i'll let you know all here on the channel Friendly reminder, there is a new coding for you guys to pick up for all your Game Pass Ultimate users out there. They have a green commando skin you can activate now for your account, but it comes with a couple challenge swaps and also some XP boosts if you need to grind out some more stuff. But honestly, I would hold on to those XP boosts. You got plenty of time for season two. I'm just really thankful that we finally get some more commando content because right now it's very limited pretty much, pretty much pretty much all the content really that i have for my commando is really just stuff that uh is really only paid like the only thing i i think i have a couple coatings and that's about it so i'll definitely will be rocking this green coating on my commando for sure now if you guys want some more forge content you just can't wait to catch up some more little details and things that people have created Check out this video right here of 20 Forge Leaks you guys need to check out. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next one.
Peace out.